judge has rejected a request by lawyers for accused hacker Jeremy Hammond to release the imprisoned activists into house arrest. Hammond's accused of being a member of the hacker group Anonymous and has been charged with hacking into the computers of the private intelligence firm Stratfor. Greetings, we are Anonymous. We've come to deliver an important message regarding the trial of accused Anonymous hacktivist Jeremy Hammond. We believe a great injustice is occurring in Jeremy's trial and that the public and media deserves to be aware of it. Jeremy is entitled to a fair and public hearing by a competent independent and impartial tribunal established by law, under the current circumstances, that cannot be possible, now we will explain. Jeremy Hammond is a political activist, that is being charged with involvement in the December 2011 hack of Stratfor, he is accused of releasing the Stratfor information to WikiLeaks. The judge presiding over Jeremy's case is named Loretta Prisca. During Jeremy's bail hearing Judge Prisca portrayed Jeremy as a terrorist, more dangerous than murders and sexual predators, denied his bail and, before Jeremy in the gathering of his friends and family, announced the sentence he would face if found guilty. 360 months to life. What Judge Prisca did not disclose at this hearing was that she is bound by law to recuse herself of this case due to a direct conflict of interest. Please note the following. On September 11, 1983 Loretta Prisca married one Thomas J. Cavilla, currently a partner at the law firm Cahill Gordon and Randall LLP. If you examine the Stratford database, which was published by WikiLeaks, you will find on staffers clientele list the email address, tcavala at cahill.com. This address can also be found on cahill.com, the website of Cahill Gordon and Randall LLP. On the bio of Thomas Cavala, Judge Prisca's husband, Judge Prisca by proxy, is a victim of the very crime she intends to judge Jeremy Hammond for. Judge Prisca has failed to disclose the fact that her husband is a client of Stratfor and recuse herself from Jeremy's case, therefore violating multiple sections of Title 28 of the United States Code. Judge Loretta Briscoe's impartiality is compromised by her husband's involvement with Stratfor, and a clear prejudice against Hammond exists, as evident by her statements, in the interest of justice. The public and media should demand Judge Prisca remove herself from Hammond's case, or if she will not, demand a superior court provider it of prohibition forcing her to step down, without justice being freely, fully, and impartially administered. Neither our persons, nor our rights, nor our property, can be protected. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.